you're listening to this, today's ASMR video is uh, specifically for my Christian brothers and sisters. If you're not Christian, you can still listen, but I wanted to do the video dedicated for my Christian brothers and sisters because sometimes we go through, you know, a lot in this world, and, you know, as Christians, sometimes we need a reminder that God is for us, you know, and, and I wanted to read out a couple Bible verses that bring comforting and bring peace. So, today's ASMR video, I'll be reading Bible verses for, that bring peace and comfort. So, sit back and relax and enjoy uh, as the Lord speaks through scripture and speaks through the Bible. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord, your God, who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Psalms 23, 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Romans 8.28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. John 14.27 Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. First Peter 5.10 In the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Colossians 11. Being strengthened with all power according to his glory, might so that you may have great endurance and patience. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. John 16, 33. I have told you so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Revelations 21, 4 He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. 
creation who will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Psalms 32, 7 through 8. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. James 1, 2 through 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Hebrew 12, 1 through 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that enters in the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 13, 5 through 6. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, nor will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my help helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? 1 Peter 5, 6 through 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Isaiah 41, 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. John 16, 22. So with you now is your time of grief, but I will see you again, and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Matthew 4, 5 Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Deuteronomy 31, 8-9 himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the Levitical priests who were carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and to all the elders of Israel. Romans 15 as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalms 145, 18-19 The Lord is near all those who call on him, to all who call, him, call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fill him. He hears their cry and saves them.
waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. First John 1 John 1.9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Second Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.3-4 Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Matthew 10, 29-31 are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet no one of them will fall into the ground outside your father's care, and even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. Romans 8 26 through 28 in the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things, God works for the purpose of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalms 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 119, 76. May your unfailing love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Psalms 9, 9 The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in the times of trouble. Psalms 116, 1 through 2. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard me, my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. John 14, 16 through 17. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever. The spirit of truth, the word cannot accept him. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be 